we wanted to give you some updates on a couple of those videos we've shared with you recently, just so you can see how everything's tracking. The first is the uh, spring planting that we did, even though it was winter and we started those seeds nice and early. We had them by the fire because we don't have heat mats. Well, what I want to do is just show you in this video what popped up and how quickly things popped up and how uh, all that's kind of gone. The other thing I want to share with you is the flowers in the orchard, just to kind of show you how everything is flowering and what kind of future fruit we'll be looking at getting after doing that really big hard pruning. Um, I did get quite a few questions from people just kind of saying, oh, aren't you sacrificing all your fruit? So I do want to show you what that looks like today as well. <music> Good morning, it's Rachel here from Bush Edge Homesteading Australia. It's an early Saturday morning today and I thought I'd bring you outside, <laughs> sorry, early morning voice. <clears throat> Let's try that again. I thought I would bring you guys outside just to show you a few things that are going on in the garden, just to give you a quick update, particularly on the pruning that we did and how the fruit trees are going since then. And I also want to share with you a little bit on the planting that we did of seeds that we put by the fire and how that's gone in kind of that first week since we did the planting. Now, I want to start off in the orchard here though with you guys. And I will say it's early, so it's going to be one of those days where I'm super daggy and I'm going to keep the camera pointed at the garden rather than at me. But uh, in the garden, there's some pretty cool things going on. Now, one of the questions that we had quite a bit of was with the pruning, were we going to sacrifice all of our fruit? So I did want to show you guys this and this is a bunch of the blossoms that we have at the moment. And this one here is the peach tree. So when we did the pruning of the peach tree, and when I say we, the reality is hubby did most of the pruning. What he did was he did try to leave areas like these branches here where there was still growth that we would expect to get flowers and then fruit off of. And then on other parts of the tree, he's gone a lot harder and we're not going to get fruit off that. So as you can see, we're not going to sacrifice all the fruit for the year ahead. There'll definitely be a bit less fruit, but um, there will be areas that we will get some other trees we haven't got blossoms on yet so these are the the apples that we've got here and you can see that's just because it's not at the stage yet where the blossoms have come through but there's the signs of those coming through and in fact there's quite a few signs of the leaves starting to uh, to burst and also some of the the flowers that will be opening up soon but uh, yeah, we're not quite there yet with these ones, but as you can see, there is the promise of a lot of fruit to come. Uh, what else have we had? So that one there is another peach tree. And in fact, some of the blossoms are already starting to die back on that. And more apples. These ones here are the pink ladies. And they're a little bit further along than the uh, heritage apples. So that first one that I showed you I think that one is the Cox Orange Pippin. This one here, the Pink Lady, you've definitely got a lot of signs of the blossoms and fruit to come. This one over here is a, another heritage variety. That one's the Snow Apple, and that one's a little bit further behind, but again, you can kind of see that there's areas where the buds are starting to open. There will be plenty of blossoms that all open up on that it's just a little bit further behind and this one here it's exciting to see blossoming that's a nectarine and we haven't had any on here for a really really long time so the fact that we are seeing blossoms on that one is also exciting that we might actually get a bit of fruit off this one this year so not too many on this one but uh, yeah there's a few the apricot though, we did go really super hard with. So I'm not expecting that we're gonna get a lot of fruit on that this year. Oh, sorry, 
putting up the bank. It's super steep. There wasn't a lot of branches where I'd expect to get much in the way of fruit off of that. So it'll be interesting to see if we get a couple of blossoms. But uh, yeah, this one here we probably have sacrificed a bit of fruit on this year. But this one here, I'm really excited to show you guys. That there is our nashi. This tree can be super prolific, but last year we lost most of the fruit. Even though we netted just a couple of little branches, it was just too hard to protect. And we did lose a lot of that too, especially the possums. But uh, I don't know if you guys can see as well as I can, but uh, how awesome is that? This beautiful tree is just absolutely covered in blossoms and when it explodes really soon and they're all open it's going to look absolutely stunning but the thing that I'm really excited about is all that promise of fruit to come. All right now that I've shown you what's been going on in the orchard the other thing I want to share with you guys is what's been going on with those seeds that we planted that we popped by the fire and how everything's germinated in the first week since planting. It's day five since we planted and I thought I would give you guys a bit of an update. In fact, I should have given you a bit of an update yesterday because we've actually already pulled the broccoli out of here because day four and the broccoli were already ready. And uh, yeah, as of today, they were already starting to get a little bit of height to them and I don't want them getting leggy so they are already out in the greenhouse. But there is a couple of other things as of day five that have also popped up so I wanted to show you those as well. So let's have a bit of a closer look in here and we can see that there is a little tomato plant already probably also noticed there was an ant there. One thing that happened is we had some ants come in with the soil. Now one good thing about having this box is that they haven't kind of got out at all into the house anywhere. They are kind of contained in there but yeah there's definitely been a few ants in there. So yeah tomatoes are just starting to pop up and there's one other thing that has started popping up today which again is day five and that's these guys here. And those ones, that's the basil plants. So they're only just starting to pop up, teeny tiny. Just, where are they? There. But uh, yeah, there's a few of those that are starting to come up as well. Everything else is yet to move. And oh, the other thing that I've done is I've also put in some chili seeds as well now. I did forget to put in chilies when we plant it together. So they're about a day behind all these other ones here. It's day six and I've got the container open at the moment because I've actually just had to prick out a few of the tomatoes. I obviously popped a few too many seeds in some of these and I only want two maximum in each. So you can see quite a few more of those have popped up. Also today, over here, we've got, what was that, the cucumbers. So a couple of the cucumbers have started popping up as well. That's the basils there. And we've also got, oh, what's this one that's popped up today? Oh, more cucumbers. So those ones are the, the Lebanese ones. Now, because we are starting to get a few plants popping up, it is important to kind of start popping this outside now uh, when it is sunny and warm enough which it will be tomorrow, so these will be going outside for a little bit during the day, but they will continue to come back in at night to get that warmth of the fire. Having the box has been super handy because it means that we can pick the whole thing up and bring it outside. And it just means that these plants can get a bit of sunlight during the day. It is at the stage now though, if I kind of peek in the side here, well, you'll be able to see that quite a lot of the um, tomatoes and also the cucumbers, the basil, they've all kind of popped up now and uh, what I'm probably going to do is actually take those out tomorrow and pop them in the greenhouse 
but there are still a few other ones that are still needing to pop up so those ones will continue inside it's saturday today which is the saturday kind of like a week after we did that planting together so that means it's been a week and a day since we put in our seeds and i just wanted to give you a bit more of a, a detailed update today on how things are going you're probably noticing we've got the box outside today and that's because it is magnificent even though it's winter we are having an unseasonably warm weekend it's actually 20 degrees that it's going to be today so an awesome day just to to bring this outside now these plants pretty much don't need sun at the moment because all i have left in here now is the seeds that largely haven't popped up although actually we've just had another one pop up that's super exciting check that out that one there that's the first of our zucchinis starting to pop up so that's really awesome but um yeah so we hadn't actually had any of like the zucchinis or squash uh, none of the pumpkins and there's still a few tomatoes to come up Oh, and the chilies, which I popped in a couple of days after we put the rest of these in. So these ones are a little bit behind the others. Yeah, so nothing's popped up on those yet. But we have had a lot of other things that have already popped up. And because it is a bit warmer, I have popped those out into the greenhouse. So I will show you what's down there. Okay, so let's show you what is going on in here. Okay, behind the lemongrass, it's kind of like a jungle in here. <laughs> We've got a lot of the seedlings, well, yeah, they're not seeds anymore, they're seedlings that have popped up over the uh, the past week. These ones here, the broccolis, they were the very first to pop up. And yeah, they um, have actually had a bit of a problem. Not sure if you can see here, but a lot of them are actually getting munched. So we've had a few issues with slugs and these tiny little snails starting to get stuck in. And in fact, it looks like they've actually just got one of our cucumbers as well. That's a bugger. Um, yeah. So what I have done is I have actually given just a, a bit of a all over spray with uh, just a bit of pyrethrum. It's probably one of the more natural type things that uh, we do use a bit of because I get this issue where I'll put seedlings in here and everything will just get completely eaten. So it's just a waste of time unless we've got some way to do a little bit of protection in here. And just a little bit of a light spray seems to do the trick. So I can see that we haven't really lost anything more since I've done that, which is good. Tomatoes, you can see lots and lots of those all popped up. Um, yeah, they definitely need a bit of sun now that they're at that level. So they uh, all were kind of brought out here as they've been popping up. So you can see there's a few gaps in here. And that's where there is still a few up the top that haven't popped up yet. And I'm just leaving them inside for that additional warmth still. And uh, yeah, as soon as they're um, germinated, they'll come out here as well. And oh, over here, that is our basil. So basil, again, being at kind of that level needs a little bit of sun now so that's why we brought that out here into the greenhouse too and that is all of our cucumbers the two different varieties they were older seeds so you can see we've got one here that hasn't popped up yet I am kind of wondering if that will or not we'll see I guess but uh yeah we we didn't get a huge level of germination when I think about it considering I did put a couple of seeds in most of these and only one has popped up in most of the cells and of course nothing in this one yet yeah so that's essentially how all of our little seedlings are going at the moment the others they'll just keep going inside at night by the fire because it is still getting a bit cool at night and they obviously need that little bit of extra heat just to germinate particularly those seeds that still haven't popped up yet and um yeah i'll keep letting you know how all of that goes so hopefully you've enjoyed hearing how things are going so far. And as always, guys, thanks a bunch for joining. And catch, catch you later. later. <laughs>